afternoon, early evening, 7 p.m. Central Time here in Duluth, Minnesota. Happy Good Friday to everybody. We have some fun action going down today. This is a live stream happening right now. You see the aerial lift bridge is all the way up to 135 feet. I hope everybody's doing great. This is the way we are going to kick off the weekend. And we have an awesome ship going out, fully loaded with iron ore. You can see the parking lot is starting to get jammed. A lot of people starting their weekend out, checking out a ship. We're going to get down right over here by the canal. We're going to check out the ship. Let me first get you set up with the conditions. You can see these seagulls having some fun out here. Here we go. CSL Assiniboine is going to be coming through the aerial lift bridge heading out to Lake Superior, 739 feet in length. So this is going to be pretty cool going by us. Weather conditions really quick, 34 degrees. Wind chill feels like 21 northeast, 25 mile per hour gusts. Visibility for the captain about 10 miles out on the lake. Here's where the ship was. So you can see the CSL Assiniboine was over at CN Dock. Loading iron ore pellets went under the Blocknick Bridge around Rice's Point, and it's going to be coming through the aerial lift bridge right here, going out onto the lake. And notice where uh, the Barbro, uh, Barbro G, that's going to be the first ocean going ship that arrived. You need to check out this video after this one. I posted it earlier today. You will see the captain, the pilot on that ocean going ship, come off a tug right on the North Pier. It was really funny. The captain said, hey, uh, can you drop me off at the North Pier? I got to go catch a taxi over by Grandma's. But that's what's going down. Let's get down by the pier and check out this ship. I got some boots on, so I'm good to go with the snow. As you can see, the snow pack is kind of lessened. Want to say what's up to all the boat friends out there. I see Rob on there, Frank. How are you, Tim? Again, for those that are joining for the first time, this is live we are in Duluth, Minnesota, a very cold place, but it's been pretty warm during this winter. We have the shipping season that just started right back up. So we're having some fun. Let me give you a shot of Lake Superior. I think that's what you want to check out here on a Friday night. You got the North Pier right here, South Pier over there, two lighthouses. We're going to see this beast of a ship go by 739 feet in length. How are you, Sally? See you on there. Want to say happy birthday to our boat friend, Deb. Her birthday is this weekend. George, how are you, my friend? We're out here having some fun. Kelly, I see you. John, talking to people from all around the world today with some emails. Got some really cool announcements that will be coming very soon. The wind is really picking up, so making it pretty interesting. But you can see all the snowpack. Here's your first view of our friend that's going to be coming through. There it is, CSL, Cinnaboyne. And you can see the camera is jumping around just a little bit. I got the wind at my back. And those are in here right now. Make sure you hit that like button if you're enjoying this content live. But this is the way we kick off a Friday. I love coming out here, especially when there's still a little bit of light. And you can't see it right now, but I put the Boat Friends beacon up on that pole right there. So if you ever see that blue light shining, you know that I'm down here either recording live or uh, for a future video. So let's jump down here. I made it. And we are going to watch this ship live together. Make sure that you have your gloves on here and your hat. It's getting kind of cold out here. So what's everybody doing? How has everybody been? How was your week? How was your weekend? Let's throw on like we always do. The temperature in the city that you're at. Doesn't matter what country. We got them from all over the world having some fun. But this is a Friday. Take a look at that sky. That looks pretty cool. Give you a nice little shot of that. Maybe a little bit of the bridge too. Give you a couple things to look at. Great looking ship. Thank you. Al, how are you? Robert, he's there in Jacksonville, Florida, saying 70 degrees. Now, Robert, you can't tell us that you're cold. I don't want to hear that you got a sweater on, my friend. There's Deb. Cadillac, Michigan, our friend Dwayne, saying 44 degrees. There's my good friend Jay. I'm sure he's still in Japan right now doing some work. There's Gary. 
Checking in from Evansville, Indiana, San Francisco, Tulsa, Oklahoma, 75 degrees right now. So we got some warm temperatures. I can't wait to tell you when it's 75 here. You're going to have a happy friend here in Duluth. Well, let me pass along some information about this ship. We're going to do a little bit of people watching. 71 degrees in Overland Park, Kansas. Port Rowan I just saw go by. There's Sally there in Texas, 80 degrees. Dennis, how are you, my friend? Well, let me give you some facts real quick. You do some people watching. We'll do some ship watching. Zoom in just a little more. So the CSL Assiniboine, it's sitting low, just fully loaded with iron ore pellets. Built in 1977 at the Davy Shipbuilding Company in Quebec, Canada. I want to say what's up to all our friends in Canada, friends to the north, sending us these great ships. Owned and operated by CSL Group, large company, many ships, repowered in 2015 with two engines, which I'll get to in a moment, 36,000 ton cargo capacity, five holds, 23 hatches, one propeller, and one rudder, two 4,500 horsepower diesel engines that are pushing this beast through the canal. Let me give you a quick shot of the flag so you can see what's going down with the wind. Moving pretty good. I told you, zip up that jacket. Keep that jacket zipped up here. I don't want you getting cold. John, how are you? Penfield, New York, 39 degrees. Mark Holtz, thank you for checking in. Give you a shot what's going on over here. Another flag up there, give you a better idea what's going down with the conditions. Again, we're here in Duluth, Minnesota, cold Duluth, Minnesota. We are just below Canada. And you are looking live at Lake Superior. And this is the Duluth Ship Canal. This vessel is going straight out to Lake Superior on its way to Quebec. Now, these iron ore pellets, they're going to be transferred from Quebec to another vessel, and they are going to go to Europe. Not sure what the final destination is. Give you a shot of what's going down here. Kind of crunchy here. You know, it looks like it's slush. I mean, there is some slush further up, but, you know, you can hear below me. A little bit crunchy there. You got to really watch your step. Take a look at that sunset. That's pretty cool. Hey, Jeffrey, how are you in Barbados? Love when uh, you're in the chat. I mean, it. just talking to Jeffrey, he's one of the boat friends, like I said, in Barbado, Barbados, just talking with him makes you kind of feel like you're on a vacation, you know, because you know he's out there by that beach. You better be out there, Jeffrey. You better hit that beach for all of us every day. John, how are you? See, Rose is on there. Again, this is live. You have the aerial lift bridge up to 135 feet, and your buddy Mike got those middens on. You know, I put them away, took them out, put them away, and now I took them out again. Hopefully, this is going to be the end of that, so we'll have to see. They're talking 40 degrees plus in Duluth next week. But I definitely want you to check out that video that I posted earlier. You're, you will see that captain come straight off, get dropped off right over here on the North Pier, I definitely will never see that happen again. That was really cool. Suzanne, how are you? Great seeing you. Got so many people in here watching it live. It's awesome. And, and again, I love watching the people on the pier because you see some people for the first time checking out a ship, people that might have seen them before, but you can see a little bit of volatility with the, the water there as this ship is going out low. You can see a good look at the lines of the ship here. Take a look at the superstructure that's that area in the very back that kind of looks like a building that's on the stern of the ship the rear part of the ship the back part that we're looking at that's a stern you have the bow that's the front a little bit of uh scuffing i can see right there all that tells you is that ship has been working hard i love that you can see those two bow anchors that are right Smack dab in the middle coming at us. Got people taking pictures, having some fun. Well, let's hope we get a salute from the ship. And again, I hope everybody's having a great Friday. Thank you for starting your weekend out with me, boat friends, as we watch. <laughs>
Let's go. Got a salute between the bridge and the big ship. Let's watch these waves. I don't want you to miss anything. I'm going to try to stick with the bow for you so we can see some of that kicking up. Take a look at those anchors. Let me zoom in just a little bit for you. Big, big anchor. But look at this beast coming through, 739 feet in length. No joke, real deal. Great Lake ship. Keep our eye on the waves as they move through the canal. Now, I've done this enough where I, you got to back up from that wall because you might get that rogue wave that pops up. Look at that. Canada steamship lines. Look at this beauty going out. What a way to start a Friday, our boat friends. What a way to start a Friday out. Let me give you a little more of that pier. You can see what people are doing. Give you a slow pan here as we look at the side of the vessel. Give you a shot of that superstructure here. Very massive, imposing boom that it has on here as well. See that boom? Look at this. What a delight to have that captain let that horn the horn rip for us, which is cool. See that stack up there pumping out? And another thing that I really love is that we got a little bit of light out here in the evening so you can really see some of the colors on this good-looking beast as it goes by. And we're going to watch this vessel go out. And keep your eye on the prop wash over here. And also let's take a look at the draft sitting at about maybe 27 feet. What that means is there's 27 feet of this vessel still below water. And for my Canadian friends, take a look at your flag that is flying proudly on the stern of this vessel. Let's get a better look at the backside of the superstructure. Better shot of some of that kick up of the water. Absolutely, we wish the captain and the crew a safe voyage out on the Lake Superior. Definitely has some power with those two diesel engines. Captain's a professional, and you know that. So there's nothing to worry about. But there it goes. What a way to start out a Friday. So great to see that. Take a look at those waves, seagulls. They've been waiting for these ships to move as well. But there you go. Just after 7 p.m. Central Time here, Duluth, Minnesota. If you enjoyed this live stream, Boat Friends, hit the like button on the way out. Make sure you subscribe. That way you will catch me live here in Duluth in the future. But as always, thank you so much for watching the videos and especially these live streams. I'll be back out here again. Be ready to rock. And until then, here's a few videos to choose from. And we'll see each other very soon.